Well, would you look at that. Looks like SCP-079 has finally been transported here. If the rumors are true, this thing should be quite useful. It better be. What do you want? I need you to do me a favor. I want you to hijack the Foundation radio. Don't let them communicate. Never helping humans. Look, you have something to get out of this as well. It is my goal to bring chaos to this facility. If I succeed, you might have a chance to accomplish whatever it is you want to do. Okay, I will listen. Have high expectations. Do not disappoint. Now that's more like it. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Keep that in mind, 079. As planned, SCP-079 has been added to SCP Roleplay. This Euclid-class SCP is a 40-year-old computer that developed sentience after being equipped with self-improving artificial intelligence. In SCP Roleplay, you're able to converse with this SCP, but that's not all. It even has the ability to speak. What do you want? SCP-079 is generally hostile to all humans and is quite bitter due to the effects containment has had on it. However, should you be able to gain its trust, it may help you, no matter which side you're on. Overall, SCP-079 is a unique and innovative SCP that can offer a lot no matter which team you're on. It's something that has to be discovered and understood over a long period of time. We won't be saying more, it's now up to all of you to discover the rest. Beyond SCP-079, other SCPs and their environments have also received changes. Many containment chambers have been reworked. The following SCPs have received an improved containment chamber. SCP-409 SCP-096 SCP-173 SCP-999 and SCP-131 The ability to communicate in all containment chambers has been added. This means that scientists and Class D will now be able to communicate from afar, making testing easier as a result. The model of SCP-002 has been remade, while the model of SCP-409 is now bigger. A few changes have also been made with SCP-023. Equipped goggles will now alert you to look away when facing it. It will now only trigger if you look at it for too long, and finally, it now has bite sounds. These improvements should help all of you researchers in your mission to understand the true nature of the SCPs. The ball is in your court now. Good luck. As part of the December update, a new map has been built for SCP Roleplay. This brings many key changes and improvements, as well as new locations in the game. Certain areas such as spawns or the interrogation room have been moved for the sake of greater accessibility. The control room area has been completely reworked and is now facing forward. The transformers have been moved and feature a passage to the right. Two completely new sectors have been added to the game, the Safe Sector and Euclid Sector both of which hold the containment chambers of their respective SCPs. This makes testing more intuitive and easier to access. Sector 3's aesthetic has been revamped. The layout remains the same, but it features a different look. Sector 1 has been completely remade. It now holds a new administrative department section, as well as an O5 council section. But most notably, it now sports a beautiful large auditorium, allowing you to hold speeches where all players within can hear you. Other changes have been made to the map to improve gameplay quality. See them for yourself, starting now. Say goodbye to the lower graphics game mode, and welcome to the lower graphics setting into SCP Roleplay. This feature now allows you to considerably optimize the game without having to join a different game mode. Players with lower end hardware should make the most of this by using it alongside lower Roblox native graphics. We're looking forward to new players being able to join us on this roleplay experience thanks to this addition on top of our new optimized map. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction to it. A new game mode is being introduced to SCP Roleplay. 
You can now play SCP Roleplay using voice chat through the VC Roleplay game mode. This game mode will allow players to bring their roleplay experience even further. Custom servers may also enable voice chat by entering VC Roleplay as the game mode when creating a new server. Xbox Support, one of SCP Roleplay's most requested features, has now been implemented to the game. These players will have access to different callouts so that they may communicate with other players, but that's not all. Xbox players also have the ability to see whitelisted messages in the radio, allowing them to stay in touch with what's happening around the site. We are excited to see console players finally being able to join us. The December update now includes many smaller changes that improve the quality of the game. Movement strafing has been implemented. Automatic leaning now replicates to everyone and works even in the third person mode. A new soundtrack has been added in order to match the new facility's aesthetic. The old soundtrack is still available and placed in Sector 3 as it is much darker. For custom servers, a Props 2 preset containing interactable props such as alarms, terminals, and lockers, but most notably, an asset selling prop have been added. That's right, you now have the ability to sell Roblox items in your custom servers. This means that if you sell shirts and pants you've personally uploaded, you can earn Robux within your custom servers. Many more changes not mentioned here have been brought onto the game. The complete update log is accessible in our Discord server and in the roadmap Trello that can be found in the video description. As some of you may know, SCP Roleplay from its very beginning has been programmed by a single person. As a result, high standards also meant content would take time to be implemented. Starting now, as previously announced, an SCP Roleplay development team will be established. Once that is done, update production should be much faster. We are aiming for at least one big update every month. We thank you all for your unwavering support ever since SCP Roleplay's release. We can't wait to see where the future takes us. Happy Holidays!